connecting. All right, we're live. We are. Yep. All right. Hello, everybody. There's nobody here. Yet. I know, but I figure if someone's watching the video, they don't want to just sit. Oh, they don't want to just, just sit and wait. You for... know, should say hello to those people too. Well, hello, people who are watching the video. We're sorry you didn't make the live. And we're, uh, we're, we're happy you're that you're uh, watching the video. Yes. I'm oh, wait. A sip of tea. We have Artsy Batbrook that says good morning and Gail that says good morning from California. Marvelous Music Monday. How are you two doing today? Hello, friends. How you guys doing? Lily Check says good morning, Scott and Donna. Hope your day is going well. So far, so good. I had a hard time picking who to draw today. No, no, it wasn't a hard time picking who to draw today. He literally looked with a blank face and said, I have no idea what I'm doing today. I, 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 yeah, I, just, I look at all of your suggestions, of course, and some of them I'm like, I have no idea who this person is, and I look up their music, and I'm like, eh, and then someone mentioned David Grohl, and I was like, okay, I know who that is. But then I was looking at the photos, and the photos were like, yeah, I just didn't see them in watercolor, so I thought I would do them in my um, pencil, you know, my uh, Prismacolor pencil sketchbook. So, so that's what I'm doing. So basically, it's a mood thing today, is what it you're is getting. It is a very big mood thing. Yes. It's Moody Monday, not Music Monday. Moody Music Monday. There you go. Steph Nerd, should I start or? Steph Nerd says, uh, "We got about sixty people here." Okay. Steph Nerd says, um, "Morning," and then she says, "David has got good hair for Scott to play with." Yeah, I was thinking about that, and he's got some. There's some great shots of him, like in concert, his hair's flying all around. But no, I just wasn't feeling it in watercolor today. No name says hi from Scotland. Ray hello. Animations uh, says, "Hello, Scott. How are you?" I'm good, thank you. Nixie is here and says, "Hey, howdy, hey." Hey, howdy. And we've hey. got a hello, my favorite tea and crumpets. Ringers are rung and mods are here. Oh, and Emma's here too. She says, hello, people. We've got highs and hellos and yos hello. and good mornings and greetings from Paraguay. Greetings. Oh, cute. People are saying hi to Bethany. Noah says, hi, love your art. Oh, thank you. Josh Insane says, good morning. Heartsy Batbrook says, yesterday was rough, but I'm hoping today will be better. I understand the not knowing what to draw. I'm not sure what to paint today. Also because of my mood. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a <clears throat> thing, isn't it? Yeah. Why do you only use one page on that sketchbook? Asks Roasty Toasty. Oh, on this sketchbook? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think I, I don't think I'll, I will ever, I mean, I, there are sketches from here. from 2013 in Valencia. Uh, so that's 10 years ago. Um, there's drawings my son Brendan did when he was trying to learn how to draw animals. Um, we are, you know, I mean, it, this is kind of just like all over the place. So this isn't really a sketchbook that I'm serious about. This is kind of just like a whenever I'm in the mood. So I'm not really trying to conserve paper. Yeah, I'll also kind of a it. time capsule, too. Well, it's becoming a bit of one, but... Yeah. Let's see. Hey, Ryan's here. Says, good morning, Scott, Donna, mods, and friends. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? Getting ready to teach the kiddos? Mari says, so happy I finally remembered the live and got here in time. Bella says, hey, this is my first live. Welcome. I'm... Uh, I always feel bad when, when people come and, and I'm doing something different than I normally do, but I guess every time's a little different, so. Well, you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of good that way. The Norse Forge says, I wish I could hang around. I can't wait to see it finished. Good luck. Oh, thanks. I'll try to make a video later today. Rain says, hello from Kuwait. It's good to see you again. Hello. Ash Moon says hi and just hit 100 followers on their Instagram art account and they're very excited. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats. That's awesome. 
Starting from scratch today, says Lilybug. Yep. Uh, I know a lot of you like to see that and uh, and doing a pencil sketch. I mean, you guys watch me do that in the Draw Everything Every Day. Um, I figured we have time to just kind of just take it easy. I'm not doing inking. I'm not doing watercolors. Just drawing today. Sometimes we need to uh, cut ourselves a little slack. And that's okay, too. Also, you notice I'm all over the place. I do the hair, and then I do the, the one eye, and then I'll do the nose, and I'll maybe do the other eye. And it's just whatever, whatever my eye is attracted to is the part that I do next. Artsy Batbrook. For the record, yesterday was pretty rough for me, too. So I'm sending you a big hug, and it is a new day, and we will be okay. Um, Palome says, hey, Scott, I'm Rex. My Ohuhu alcohol markers came in and I drew a man in blue hair wearing a tuxedo and holding a rose. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Um, How did you like the markers? Aryab says, couldn't sleep having a headache. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel you. I get headaches quite a bit. Those are not fun. Ray says, good morning. I hope good you're morning. having a good morning. Bridget. Um, Brigantic says good morning everyone Ryan Black says good morning beautiful people Good morning Ryan is making lunches and getting ready to head to it Which is awesome Somebody's got to do it Alright hold on I have got to readjust my recording camera Give me one second <laughs> Steph Nerd says my brain has been playing Led Zeppelin since Friday I guess we are switching to Foo Fighters and Nirvana now Currently it is best of you <laughs> You're funny. Hey, Erica's here this morning. Good morning, Erica. Hey, Erica. Hope you're doing okay up there. I saw your post about the power outages and everything else. I hope you're still doing okay. Um, Heba says, I love you. I love you too. Currently the afternoon in the UK, which makes it tea time. You can tell what I'm, what I'm thinking about. Um, Bab and Bowie says, hey, I'm in a bit of a creative block myself. Have any tips to help getting back to creative things? Uh, my tip is to get out of what you're normally doing. So like today, I was like, I just wasn't feeling watercolors. So I am doing pencil. Just colored pencils, two colored pencils. And um, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you just not, you know, it's like, it's like eating the same food every day. You know, sometimes you just need to change things up a little bit. This is not going to work. I'm sorry. I'm trying to adjust this so that way I can at least get a recording so I can make a video. And it's either too far away or too close or... So I'll have to do. All right, hitting report. <clears throat> Articlistic says, hello, I'm a student from India. I really like painting with watercolors, but I could not get time as a student. It, you'll get to there. I, I didn't start watercolors until my 40s. So don't. there's no rush. Here's the photo in case anybody wanted to see. Sam says, glad to catch another one. Let's go, David Grohl. Foo Fighters forever. <laughs> Green Sky says, hi from Pakistan. Hello. We have a good evening. I'm glad I get to watch this. I usually miss these, but I'm on spring break. That's Linberry Art. Oh, that's great. Uh, Linux Eyes says, morning. Good morning. Oh, and Steph Nerd put in the link to the um, Art Block video. Thank you, Steph. Oh, good. Gamer Kid says, yesterday I got art supplies because you inspire me. Oh, thank you. Good evening from Vietnam. Good morning. It's nice to finally join, says Michael. Just wanted to say you've re-sparked my creative spirit, and I thank you very much. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I hope if you feel you can, you'll share your artwork with us. Um, Lisa's Creative Outlet says, good morning. Me and my son watched Animal Crackers last night, and he said he loved it, and that it was better than Sing 2, LOL. Wow. High that is praise. high praise. Yeah. Thank you. Tell him we said thank you so much, and we're glad he liked it. 
Have you ever tried a very fine tip Posca? Because I use that for watercolor outlines and it's great. I think I got one. Uh, a, a small set, but you know, I, I I didn't have much luck with it. But I will try again. Uh, Bella says you should be an art teacher. You'd be everyone's favorite. Oh, thank you. It's Zara's first live. NCM says hello, hello. Ringer here. I've been in artistic identity crisis. I'm doubting if I even know what I like besides art. I can't find my voice. LOL. Any advice? Um, yes, you're on the right track because I feel the same way every day. So just know that it's just a part of being an artist. Um, I don't think we ever feel like we know what's going on or we found our voice. I think because there's so many styles, there's so many looks, there's so many beautiful things to draw, there's so many mediums that we go, oh God, if only I did this, or what if I tried that, or what, you know. So honestly, just keep moving forward, keep making art. And you know, like there's, there's some days where I'm really happy with my watercolor style. And then there's days where I want to do gouache. And then there's days like today where I just want to just draw in pencil. So I don't know if I found my voice so much as I'm just going to keep making art in whatever way that feels good to me. Um, hope that helps in some way um, just as someone who's 54 years old and still doing something different sometimes sometimes I'll paint on a 45 record sometimes I'll write um, we're just creating and and I don't think you have to find your voice a hundred percent and there are artists who who do they find their voice early on and they stick with it and I think that's amazing but I don't think every artist has to do that uh, Pencil sharpener. So you're going to be getting pencil sharpener so today. So much pencil sharpener today. Okay, there are so many comments today. Oh, Artsy Batbrook, thanks. I'm going to send you a hug too. I wish um, for everybody who needed a hug today, we could give you guys a hug. Um, we have about a million people here on here that are um, on spring break and they get a chance to watch you for the first time. Oh, that's great. Because they haven't been able to watch because they're in school. And a lot of good mornings. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. And um, who's your favorite artist and why are you drawing Nirvana? Uh, I My favorite artist, I don't have one favorite artist. I've got several. Um, it could be J.C. Leyendecker, John Buscema. Alphonse Mucha, um, Norman Rockwell, uh, Maxfield Parrish. There's th there's so many that I'm inspired by. Um, and I am drawing uh, David Grohl from the Foo Fighters and Nirvana because uh, it's Music Monday and I needed mm -hmm. to pick somebody. And I like, I like his music. Um... Butterbrook is inking right now and really afraid to mess it up. I really like the drawing and I'm too afraid to color it. Oh, well, scan well, it. Yeah, or scan take a picture. It or take a picture or or trace it onto a onto another page so you don't mm -hmm. ruin that. Yeah. If you really feel nervous about it. Chori Flower says this stream chat is genuinely the sweetest. This community is so cute. I need to come to more streams. <laughs> we are <laughs> definitely you. art centric and everyone is welcome here. Um, let's see. Hello and good evening from Russia. Hi from Whoa. India. A lot of new people for streams. We have tried Posca markers. You can check that out in the... Yeah, there is a video um, on it. Yep, there's a video in products we've tried. I drew Deku from My Hero Academia. Mm -hmm. You like the squishy panda video, huh, Sarah? Let me tell you something. That pan, that red panda <laughs> stuffed animal is ridiculous. Oh my god, it's so soft and someone, so. Someone left a funny cute. message, uh, a funny comment on the uh, yesterday's uh, photo video from Carmel on TikTok, and they said that they're they were looking, they were pausing all of the pictures and looking to see you somewhere in the background running around in your panda outfit. <laughs> I did not pack the panda outfit on vacation. And the reason is the tail is too thick to fit in the suitcase with all my other clothes. So we can't pack that when we go on vacation. 
Um, I am a little behind on the tea this morning and um, I am tired. So I woke up with a headache this morning. So um, that is where I am today, but I am trying to be perky. Um, we are okay from the tornadoes, but a lot of people south of us are not. And there was a lot of wind damage here um, around the Nashville area. We had some really strong winds. We had a, um, the neighbors around the corner from our house have these huge pine trees. They've got to be what, 50 feet tall? Yeah. And we were walking Arwen yesterday and... That was two days ago. It was two days ago. And <clears throat> the tree snapped near the base of the tree, completely like covered the street. And we tried to move the tree, which of course we couldn't. So, but it was, it was crazy. Um, Jamie Brown's here and says, good morning. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Um, couple of, there are several people who are getting the Ohuhu markers to, in today. That's exciting. That is exciting. Sky is starting a 23 by 32 painting today. I'm excited. Wow. I've never made such a big painting. That's big. Yeah, they had an anxiety attack and had to miss an exam. I'm sorry. Oh. You know what? Anxiety is a real thing, and I hope you're getting help for that. Um, what am I reading right now? That's a good question. Um, I'm My reading life right now has slowed down considerably. I'm reading The Power of Now. I'm about halfway through it. Um, I'm trying to um, process the things that are that are in the book. So it's taking me a little bit longer. Um, Little Frog says, between a live coffee and my own sketchbook, this is turning out to be a wonderful Monday. Oh, thank you. Um, no. Skizzard Beth says, good morning, loves. I'm still a little sick, but I'm doing better than Friday. Ah, oh, good. Good. Thank you guys so much for everything. Does Scott do any hand or wrist stretching or strength ingredients exercises to combat fatigue, pain, or cramping? No, I, I, I don't draw so much like i only draw for like this 90 minutes and then the rest of it is writing and editing and you know my other work so it, it's not so much it's not like i'm drawing for eight hours a day um izzy says you're an inspiration to me and a friend of mine we love watching your videos and trying your techniques thank you oh thank you baltimore is decorating a deck of cards do you have any tips for extra sticky tape it tears the backs of my cards up well, the tape that I use is, uh, I'm looking at a woodpecker out there. Um, can you see him? Oh, he just went around the tree. Can you see no, his little head popping up? No. Okay. The tape that I use, and it's on my art supply list, is this one that I get from Plaza Art. And I like it because it's sticky, it holds down really well, but it, peel but it peels up really well. He likes it because it costs. But I, I did do a video on tape, but in that video, nothing went right. So I don't know if that's the best. You made me love watercolors in my seven drawings I made. Oh, that's great. Um, it is uh, 9.18 in the morning here. Do you like Pokemon? I am not a fan. I, I have nothing against it. It's just it was kind of past my time. Diva is 11, loves your work, and Thank is sketching you, along with you. And um, there is a video on proportions in the Art Hacks playlist. So you check that out, and you can check that, proportions for faces and things like that. Um, can you make a long live where you start from the beginning of blank paper? I did. That's today. That's today. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are finally able to join. Let's see. Hello from Scotland. Happy April. Oh, Scotland. We're looking to try to come out there. We are indeed. Mm -hmm. Lots of good mornings. Thank you for making these amazing videos. You're very inspiring. That pushes me to do more art. That's Maria. Oh, thank you. When I need inspiration, I watch your videos. Thank you very much. Riv Wilson sent you a tip and says, I tried watercolor over Prismacolors this week and got the idea from one of your shorts. It's so good with it, a right? little heart. It's really weird. And it picks up some of the colors, too. Um, oh, Lily Bill says, we just moved to Tennessee, which has been really hard for me, but your videos have helped me a lot, so thank you. Oh, uh, well, welcome. It, it does take a little getting used to. Liar. Been... It takes a lot of getting used to. <laughs> We've been here for 16 years. Yep. Yep. Find yourself some good friends. That will help. 
I'm I'm just kind of I think I am spending my my shading is definitely a little bit more fine in this one. Normally it's more kind of cross hatchy like this. Were you teased or bullied for liking art in school? Not for liking art, just for being um, I think autistic. Again, it, it wasn't I wasn't diagnosed, but I think because I was so weird and shy and, and everything else. And You're still weird. I am. But I'm saying that's what I was teased for. Mm. Jam just got their pens out and they're going to join the drawing. Pencil sharpener. All right, so here's the problem with this pencil sharpener. Oh, here we go again. This is the this is as small as I can go with that one. And um, so I might cuz it, it's it's got a <clears throat> I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's got it's a little it's a little long. So, uh, all right, I'll, I'll uh, use it for a little more shading, and then I'll just get another one. Um, did you realize that your this is yours and Scott's first autism awareness month since he was diagnosed? Yes. I did not realize that. It is. It's our first one since you were diagnosed. That is correct. Yes. Um, what's your favorite band? Um. I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but it's there's the Beatles, there's Def Leppard, there's uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket. Um, you should have just stopped at uh, the Beatles because we really know that that's your favorite. They're not my like you know. I mean, I mean, there's so many. <laughs> um, I love you so much. You're so inspiring and amazing. And Donna is just a queen. You're very sweet. Oh, rebel. thank you. Very sweet. I'm using lately a mechanical pencil and it saved me from pencil sharpening. I don't know how, but I'm terrible at pencil sharpening. <laughs> you know what? It's not you. It's the pencil sharpener and you are, yeah. you can absolutely have a bad pencil sharpener. Yeah. Yeah. You can. It, it's totally true. We, um, I, I used to get this pencil box from CW pencil. They're no longer in business, but they, you would send out different pencil sharpeners to try and, my boys would pick their favorite things out of the box. And Logan has this one favorite pencil sharpener that I still have to, when he wears them out, I have to find them and ship them to him. So it's really funny. But you can absolutely have one that does not do squat. And you can have a pencil sharpener that works great with one kind of pencil and horrible with another kind of pencil. That's true. Yeah. So it's not you. It's the pencil sharpener. Um, how do you make watercolor lighter? You... You got it. I mean, it's not something you want to do. You you always want to work light to dark, um, but if you have to because you made a mistake or whatever, um, you can add water to it, and then uh, just put water on top of it, and then take a paper towel and push down and try to soak up some of the paint, and that will lift it up. But it's it's not. I wouldn't recommend that as a long term technique. We'll say. Luna sends hugs to everybody, and it's their first stream. My favorite artist oh. is you, and I'm glad to catch a stream. Thank you, Luna. I'm so glad you made it. Vanessa is changing art styles and is still unsure about their abilities. Any suggestions on how to travel through this? Jumping styles has happened before, but there's a lot of trepidation. Yeah, um, I, I've, I do that a lot. Like, like every decade, I will do that. And I would say... Uh, just be kind to yourself and look at it as an adventure, like you're like you're traveling someplace new. Um, the good thing about doing that is there's no pressure. It's not like oh, I should be good at this. I've been doing this for so long. It's like nope. I just I'm trying this out. Take it from, with that perspective of I could be as bad as possible, and and I could say well I'm still learning this. I did that with gouache for a year. I just was teaching myself gouache and I think it was it was really good to just work in something where you have no expectations so take take it for that um, let's see Bethany is correct my thumb is not green at all um, you know it's funny it used to be when we first got married I used to like grow cucumbers and other things in the garden and over the years i have just i have zero interest in gardening yeah. zero interest i have so many other things i'm trying to do and once we had our boys it was like no not gonna happen 
Uh, Monkey Skills says, honestly, you guys mostly won't read this. Ha ha, joke laugh. But you are an inspiration to me and my art and my pug. Thanks you. They draw their pug every day. Oh, well, thank um, you. There's videos on drawing noses. Um, let's see. Do you have any top favorite Foo Fighter songs? Oh, yes. It's funny because I've been trying to think of Foo Fighter songs, but all I have in my head is Nirvana songs. So, hold on. Let's see here. Foo Fighters would be under... I'm trying to find which playlist it's going to be under. I'm just going to type in Foo Fighters and then I'll know. Um, okay. So, while Scott's looking for that... Um, he's never tried abstract art. Has no desire. Yeah, I hope the headache fades too. Thanks. Um, yeah, it's definitely ever long. Do you have any opinion on mechanical pencils? I like them. And I love the fact that you don't have to sharpen them. Um, I just can't find one that I like enough to... to Mm -hmm. move away from uh, regular pencils. I think a lot of that is is because um, I, I wind up having to sharpen even the other you know, mechanical pencils because I get like the, 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 the kinds where they you put the lead in, the, yeah. the thicker lead. Yeah. So I'm like, if I'm sharpening anyhow, I might as well just... Sharpen a regular pencil. Yeah. <sighs> This person says, I've never gotten a response from any YouTuber. Oh. A response like they notice you or a response like they reply back to you? It's kind of sad. Well, um, Vigis, go ahead. It's, it's, you know, I mean, when you have a million plus subscribers and then you, you, you get way more comments than you do subscribers, you know, because it's like, you know, people will comment but not subscribe. So it's, it's just, just. A little perspective is it is hard to keep up with everybody and you do miss people and and um, I don't think it's ever intentional I think it's just uh, you know as human beings we only have so much bandwidth and I, I know I spend a couple hours a day trying to respond to, to comments yeah um, it's it's not as easy as it as it as it would seem I love doing it I really do I love interacting with everybody but I think a lot of other people maybe treat it as a business and less like a relationship. And I think um, everybody has to do it in a way that helps them to cope best. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not making excuses, but I'm just saying it is difficult. It's like a lot of voices all yeah. at once. And you have to kind of single out mm -hmm. a voice at a time. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because a lot of people want attention and a lot of people keep, you know, um, posting and, and asking for things and you yeah. know it's it's just it is a lot um, let's see boy a lot of people are getting the Ohuhu marker sets um, okay so if you're asking for recommendations on markers this is for Uncle Gregory go to there is a um, resources uh, art supplies we've tried list and on the website and you can check there um, and you can look at all of the different markers that Scott's tried and see what you think would work best for you. Um, let's see. Um, 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 do you feel uncomfortable when you used to, did you feel uncomfortable when you used to do live drawings? Yes. Yes. I still get a little nervous every time we start a live. He does. Um, it, it, it I is, can attest to that. Yeah, it, it's just it's just in my nature. I, I, I get nervous sometimes when I have phone calls, you know. Um, yep, he does that too. It, it, it's just I'm peopling. And um, it, it definitely gets easier over time. And I feel like I, I'm, you know, becoming a little bit more comfortable. But... I don't think I'll ever be wholly comfortable, you know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm in the hobbit hole, which is nice. And I am, um, 
you know, with Donna and Arwen, and and I have a cup of tea, and so there's a lot and of it's things. Warm, that, and you got your sweats on. Yeah, you there's know. a lot of things that help with that, right. but it is always a bit nerve wracking. Yeah. Um, Gail says, I love that Donna has a legit reason why she can't fit the red panda outfit in her luggage, meaning she's tried it. Well, you just got to know that the tail is a little large, so you can't really fit that many clothes in there. Now, I will tell you at one point, I did have a suitcase that was the size of a small refrigerator. This was about 20, yeah. what year is it? 23, 23 years so, ago. So the story is we... We're going to go overseas for the first time. Yeah. We, we, it was 2000 and we booked a trip to mm -hmm. London and Paris. Mm -hmm. It was one of those tours where they pick you up at the airport, they yeah. put you on a bus, they take you to the hotel. Like, so we're like, okay, so we don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. And, um, it was great. It was a good tour. We were so nervous that we, that we wanted to make sure we brought enough stuff that we oh, bought. Oh my God. We, we bought it like everything. Yeah. We bought a, a, it was it was the equipment. If every if you guys ever see the movie Joe versus the volcano, you'll understand. It's the luggage, luggage. from that. It, it was luggage. Seriously, it was you could fit R two D two in it. Yeah, you could. It was this was the most enormous suitcase I've ever it, had. You in my opened life. it up and it had shelves. Yeah, in it. it had shelves. It yeah. was really cool, but yeah. yeah. Now, 23 years later. Yeah, now if we can't fit it in the overhead. Then for, yeah, if we can't fit it in an overhead. We took, we took the boys to yeah. London, Paris, Paris and Valencia, Valencia Spain. Spain when we were working mm -hmm. on the movie yep. in 2014. And it was like you get one carry-on yep. backpack and you get one Suitcase. overhead. Yep. That was it. That and was we it. did that for what was it? 14 days. 14 days. Yeah, Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I'll never travel like that. Again. I'll never travel that heavy again. I won't do it. It's too much work, and I hate checking luggage. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Is Plus, there's just so much to worry about. Where's my luggage? Yeah. Where's this? Where's that? Yeah. The, the less you bring, I think, the less manic you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the less manic you get. I always overpack still, but I I don't overpack my clothes anymore. I overpack my carry on bag, like my backpack. I always feel like I need 42,000 journals and 65,000 pens and oh, I might want to read. She always brings books she'd never read. I, well, I'm getting better. I actually put books on my phone now and I read them on my phone. So you bring books you don't read on your phone. That's not the point. The point is I don't pack an actual physical book anymore. Well, so I have a little pencil sharpener here. I'm going to use that. Um, most reviews tend to put Ohuhu as a top brand for good markers that are affordable, says Ryan. Yes, they are. They are. Uh, more affordable is the um, Artbeak ones. Mm -hmm. But um, Ohuhus are definitely more affordable than, um, like, say, at Copic. Let's see. Erica says, working on my first canvas pencil case with gouache while listening to you both. Oh, that's great. That's exciting. I can't wait to see how that comes together. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have shouted pencil sharpener. You should have. What uh, video games do you play? Um, right now I'm playing WoW with my son. Um, and uh, I am just patiently um, waiting for the new Zelda. Do another studying of the Master Series. Celeste, we wish we, we could. Want to. We're we're trying to find a way we're, to do that. We're working on it. Yeah. Um, it whenever I do the the six days of mm -hmm. studying the masters, the algorithm doesn't just doesn't show it. Doesn't show mm -hmm. it to enough people, and so I can't sustain that currently. But we're looking to see if we can maybe get some sponsors or something to to let us do that. Okay, so Vita Lee says, I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I believe it or not, I have a friend who has this, and I find it hard to always hold onto my pens, pencils, brushes, whatever. Have you or anyone in the chat come across adaptive tools to help with with grip? Yes. What is her name? Ashley Braven. Okay, uh, Ash I did I did a, 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 video. a video with me and Ashley, if one of the mods can, mm -hmm. can do it. It was the one with her, with her uh, dog. Yes. Uh, and we drew, a, we painted a tractor. And she has a bunch of videos. Oh, so many with, videos. With some great uh, yep. like things to help you with grips. There's stuff that straps around to help you hold on to it. Yes. There's, there's stuff that you can add. She's that done gives you a wonderful videos grip. about that. Yeah, because she has very similar um, needs too. Correct. And, and I would definitely mm -hmm. follow her and reach out to her. Yeah, and she tries new things all the time. She yeah. works with a lot of different companies. 
that send things to her so she can um, review them for people. She's wonderful. Tell me her name. Ashley. Ashley Braven. B-R-A-V-I-N, I think. Okay. Ashley Braven. Let me write that down so I remember. Yeah. She's very, very sweet. Yeah. Very we're, sweet. We're, I've got to do another. Yeah. You got to get out with her again. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, but Vita, definitely check that out. If we can get the link to one of her videos, that would be great. Um, Charlie Smith says, hi, I'm a new artist. I love your art. Any tips? I hope you're both okay. Hi, Charlie Smith. Yes, draw everything every day. There's a couple videos on that, but drawing is what's going to make you a better artist. Um, draw what you see. Kazalaya, if I butchered your name, I apologize. Um, how do we find what art um, we like? It's really confusing and I tend to become really impatient. How do we try and be patient and do art? Well, I mean, you make art because you like making art. No one should be making art and not be happy. Um, you can not be happy with your art because, you know, we want it to be good. but the process of making art should still be something that you enjoy. So enjoy the process. Draw every, draw every day. Fill up your sketchbooks with things that you see. But don't, if you're not enjoying drawing, don't draw. Try something else. Try writing, try music, try something. But mm -hmm. um, journaling, you, you really, it's, it's, it's like, um, it's like complaining about eating chocolate. It's like, when am I going to start liking chocolate? It's like, well, no one's forcing you to, to eat chocolate. It, there's no health benefits to eating chocolate. Oh, you that's do not it, true. You do it because you like it. And it's the same thing with art. There's no financial benefits of making art. There's nothing, um, there's no reason why anybody would be, should have to make art. So if, if, the, if you're not enjoying it, it might be the medium. Mm -hmm. It might be the subject. It might be, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so, so. Think about that. So if you're not enjoying what you're drawing, try drawing something else. If you're not enjoying drawing, that's a thing. You know, then 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 try, try something different. Try something, you know, try something different. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if it's if it's a medium like I'm not enjoying oil paints, then try watercolors. If it's, you know, I'm not enjoying inking, then don't ink, try something else. So there's so many variables to your question. I hope I covered enough. Okay, um, should I work on realism or not? No, I, I think you should 100% um, In learn to In his humble draw, opinion. Yeah, what, learn to draw what you see because mm -hmm. that will help you in whatever you do, whether it's caricature or anime mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever, abstract. Mm -hmm. At least learn to draw what you see. So that way you, you'll be able to teach your eye and your hand to kind of work together. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you could do whatever you want to. Cyan Westmore says, you're so talented. I wish I was as good as you. Oh, practice, you. practice, yeah. practice. I wish I was good as you think I am. Um, it, it's... Um, Shriyashi says, sometimes it creates self-doubt when you don't get replies. You yeah. have to understand, though, that when people, like, in the beginning, it was super easy to reply to everybody. But when you have so many people that are on your channel, um, like Santa, who's here now. Yay. Hey, Santa. Hi, Santa. Um, Santa does a great job in his lives and in his um, things of saying hi to people. But, guys, he's got two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 people on a lot. There is no way that... On TikTok, he'll have 300,000. It's I mean, ridiculous. So There's no way you people. can you can answer all those people. Yeah, but he does his best. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's all you can do. Um, does Donna make art too? Donna does um, journaling. I really enjoy journaling. So I, I write um, every single day. Um, how do we find out what art we like? It's confusing. You got to just try it. Mm -hmm. and, and don't just try it once. Mm -mm. Try uh, different things. Try different a things. A lot of times. Yeah. You know, like say, hey, I'm going to give myself, I'm going to do 10 pieces in gouache. I'm going to do 10 pieces in watercolor. I'm going to, you know, <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. But I, I, I spent a year teaching myself gouache. 
Um, and that mm -hmm. really, really helped. And then I did it for a couple of years and then I came back to watercolor. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just really liked watercolor. And every once in a while, I'll pick up gouache again. Mm -hmm. But like today, today I'm like, I didn't feel like painting. So I'm just gonna draw. Santa says you can draw cookies. And Santa is correct. You can always, you can always draw, draw cookies or red cookie. pandas. That is true. Cookies or red pandas. Um, and Refat says recommendations for drawing. Draw anything. There is a uh, series I did a, a few weeks ago called Draw Everything mm -hmm. Every Day. Yep. And you can follow along with me. There's 10 of them. Draw what I draw. Yeah. Salt and pepper shakers and cars and Hot Wheels and all sorts of things. And you know, if you get really stuck, um, go to a museum, go to a yeah. botanical garden, go to the zoo, draw something, you know, that gets you out of your, your usual place. <laughs> Steph nerd, I overpack art and journaling supplies, not clothes. You and me both, girlfriend, you and me both. Yes, you guys read my mind. Your story reminded me of Joe versus the volcano. <laughs> accurate, Gail. So accurate. Um, yes, Scott always has pencil, ink, oh, something on his thing. And um, that answers that. What is that mascara looking thing? It is a pencil sharpener. Uh. Espresso Berry says, my grandma packs essentially her entire wardrobe, her entire bathroom, and entire bed, and she brings little fans and about three comforters and pillows anytime she travels. Good <laughs> Lord. Why doesn't she just stay home? She's packing her whole darn house. Artsy Batbrick says, allowed, suit allowed suitcase sizes have become so small. I remember my childhood suitcase in the 90s was bigger than me, and I could fit two suitcases in it now. Yep. Very true. Very, very true. I know. It's crazy, right? I hate when that happens. <laughs> Bethany says, I'm great at packing clothes. I overpack art supplies in the worst way. That is, that is very accurate. I have seen it. I have seen it. Hashtag Venice. Yeah, we've seen that firsthand. Yep. I, I have I have I have paintbrushes. No, no, you have my paintbrushes. Wait, I have another set of paintbrushes. But yeah. those aren't my favorite paintbrushes. Wait, I brought a third set of paintbrushes. Yeah, and, and I brought gouache <laughs> and I brought oils and, and I brought, I brought watercolors. And watercolors and <laughs> I brought all the things. <laughs> oh God, we love you, Bethany. We Bethany love was you. A walking art store. She was, and then she bought more because oh my God, right? All the yeah. stuff. Oh, geez. Um, um, I'm going to butcher this. Um, Ligurophobia says, I love your art style so much. It's really rare to see traditional artists nowadays, which is sad. I'm a traditional artist and I can definitely say, I really think you're amazing at art. Keep it up. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Where did you find your mods? They are all over this chat. The mods. Ugh. We met We met on uh, TikTok. Yeah, a long we time ago. We would go live. Mm -hmm. and, and they uh, were always there. Yeah, we would have maybe yeah. 30 people on the live. And you kind of get to know those people. And we became yeah. friends. And yeah. uh, when we decided to move over mm -hmm. to um, YouTube, YouTube, they came with they us. They came with us. And, yeah. and then we started to go live here. And yeah. you start to trust people. Uh, against our better judgment and uh, <laughs> no, but you, you start to trust people and yeah. become friends with them. And they're amazing. And they also moderate our discord and we couldn't do any of this without them. And I wish we could pay them what they're worth. But um, right now they're just our friends and they're here because they want to be and yeah. we love them so much. And they just, they make every day, um, they make every day better. And we couldn't do this without them. Yeah. Um, Lily Check says, who is asking about adaptive tools? Please let them know that Blix has adaptive art supplies if anyone wants to know. Really? Huh? Yeah, we need Blick to... Yeah, we need Blick in the chat. They have adaptive art supplies. Interesting. I, need, I did not know that. I think I'm done with this pencil. Um, awesome. Echidna says, I've joined in for a few of these lives and I love spending mornings with you guys, but I found myself yelling blow dryer anytime I go outside <laughs> and the wind hits my face. That's funny. Oh God. Never a follower says Scott, the only person with no haters. Oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, no, you guys, um, there are, there oh. are people who will always find something wrong with everything. And, um, I just hide them. Mm. Um, <laughs> 
Lula says, good morning, friends. A happy Monday to you all. I hope your day is easy, your skies are clear, and your cup of tea stays warm. Oh, that's so nice. That is the best. When you drink a cup of tea and it stays warm. They have mugs for that. I'm just saying. They do. Of One of which I was gifted from a lovely Santa Claus. It's a very good mug. Um, Shriyashi says, Scott, my paper absorbs the watercolor so fast that I can't blend it with other colors sometimes. What should I do? Oh, wow. Um, I, to change I, the paper? Well, I mean, you could wet the paper first before you put the color down. And so wet the paper, then put the color down, and then mm -hmm. it should stay wet. I like paper. I, I like having one layer dry and then go on with another layer. But if you like the wet on wet technique, I would try wetting your paper more. Now, if that still doesn't work, like you're using a really nice 100% cotton arches kind of paper that really just soaks it up, then I would go to something like a Canson XL um, watercolor paper, which has a very flat kind of surface. It doesn't soak up the water, uh, the paint as much. So it could be the paper, but it sounds like your paper is really good because that sounds like the kind of paper I like. But um, I also don't do a wet on wet technique. All right, this little guy is going away. Say goodbye. Um, bye bye. We do have a Discord server. If the mods could put that in, you won't be let into the Discord server until we're done with the live because the our friends that are mods here they do the um, Discord as well. So you'll be let in after the live. But you have to agree to the rules and you have to be nice. If you can't be nice, I will boot you. Because we only want nice and positivity in the Discord. Um, Pencil sharpener. Let's see. Kazu Bell says, wet the paper from the back. Mm. Yeah, maybe that would help too. Um, let's see. Any tips for blending or realism for beginners? What art supplies should someone get if they are just using pencils and what type of pencils? Oh boy, a lot of questions. There, there's a video on, on realism and the blender is the thing I think that you're gonna want the most. The blending stick? The blending stick, yeah. And uh, so there's, again, there's a video on that. I don't want to draw every single <laughs> strand of hair. Shriashi says, there's the difference between an artist and a journalist. Scott thinking solutions. Donna, change the paper. <laughs> You're not wrong. I am now a paper snob. I blame Scott. I did not know the difference between any other kind of paper, and paper never ma made two bits of a difference to me. Um, and now, like, I feel paper. When I open a notebook and we go somewhere and I open a notebook, I'm actually, like feeling the texture of the paper. And I think to myself, would this work with my fountain pen? It's kind of funny. I do. And I'm like, nope, wouldn't work. Um, I'm currently on holiday in Germany. We have to travel for several hours in the car and I fell asleep at the start of your stream. So I hope you're all doing good. Gosh. We are doing good. Go back to sleep. Puppy Donna. Um, oh, you want back in now? Um, what software do you use to edit your shorts? Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and if you could save one art supply from your collection and the rest would be destroyed, what would it be? Um, I I'm assuming you mean like a medium, like watercolors, but that's a there's a lot of them. You know, there's, there's like 12 colors and the palette and the paintbrushes and the ink. And, so, but if you're saying just one thing, it would be a sketchbook. Um, would it be the Be Creative sketchbook? Well, it depends. Will I have access to go and get more watercolors and all the stuff that I need? Or do I just have to scrounge and find a piece of rock to draw on? <laughs> is this apocalypse zombie kind of thing? Or is this... Yeah, but I mean, without the thing to draw, to paint, because the be creative is magic when you have watercolors. watercolors. Oh, God, you guys are funny. All right, um, let's see. Do you have a metal palette watercolor brand? Metal oh, like metallic colors? I don't. I don't like metallic colors. He doesn't. I like all the metallic colors and the sparkly pens. Oh, God, I love the sparkly pens. 
I love those. Those are fantastic. Mm, I find myself drawing little faces like doodles over and over. How do I break out of a cycle of repetitive art? That's Hibana, and that is an excellent question. Yep, yeah, uh, draw everything every day. Uh, there's a, a video series on it, but essentially what you wanna do is just start drawing the things around you. Journal, journal mm -hmm. just, this is what I saw today. It's a you know cup of tea. This is what I saw today. It's a car. Start to draw and, and you'll, mm -hmm. you'll never run out of things to draw and you won't be drawing the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. Where do you buy your art supplies? Um, mostly from Blick. What do I do if my paper tears when I scratch the paint? Um, I don't know why you're scratching the paint, but um, I would say uh, maybe don't scratch the paint. <laughs> Uh, there's really no need to scratch at it unless you're just unless that's a technique that you're kind of working at in which case I would find either thicker paper or maybe move to like a canvas or something if you're using oils or acrylics if your house is on fire and you could save one art supply what would it be we did that one no that's different okay a pencil no I don't think so I think you'd grab your travel case that's not an, one art supply. That's yes, a is. whole bunch of them in it's one. It's one travel case. Not, <laughs> <laughs> it's a one travel case. Is it still ex imp um, is it still impressive to use just graphite, not paint or color, as a form of art, or should I expand my horizons? Um, I don't know. I mean, it depends on who you're trying to impress. Um, okay, I think it is. Because we were on a website, we were on the Getty Museum website the other day, mm -hmm. and we were looking at those charcoal and pencil prints that they had. They were studies before paintings were actually done. And I think they're impressive. Of course they can be, but I'm saying, yeah. when you say, is it impressive? Hold on, pencil sharpener. Um, if you say impressive, the question has to be impressive to who? There's no universal yeah, but impressiveness. That's, but hold on, that's for all of art. But that's what I'm saying. So it sounds like this person is trying to impress. Is yeah, it, who are you it, trying to it, impress? Are you trying to impress art yourself? School? Is it art yeah. scholars? Is it people, people online? Yeah. Is it your parents? So that's what I'm saying yeah. is everybody's impressed by different things. And yeah. You have to know what, what you want to do. Yeah. If you like drawing in pencil, then God bless you. Draw in pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all the mods say they're here because they love us. Oh. We love you guys, too. And Anne Marie's here. Good morning, Anne Marie. How you doing, sweetie? Um, let's see. Santa says, I wanted to say that David Grohl has a heart of gold. He has supported many, many deserving organizations. Oh, that's so good yeah. to hear. Everything I've seen about him is he is just a sweet person. Oh, and that's good. Yeah. That's good. I love that. Um, it's cotton on a pack to like, what? Oh my gosh. The bird on our door. Literally on the door. Eating, part, eating the spiders and bugs. Oh, and good. Stuff. Let him eat those because there was a big old nasty jumping spider out there. The Good. Eat whatever's out there. Um, and Marie says, I'm done teaching for the day and I'm stuck here for the next six hours. So I brought my pencils and a project to give myself my uh, a brain a little break. Oh, that's great. Also, the mods are the greatest. Yes, they are. Yay, I'm glad you have time to draw. I'm so excited. Um, do you guys have tips for relaxing when all you want to do is draw? Like, I need to sleep and rest, but I'm so high strung, I don't want to burn out. Oh, oh. um, I, I give myself like 90 minutes at the most. I mean, cause this is a 90 minute live, but, mm -hmm. um, I usually will paint for 20 minutes, draw for 20 minutes, half an hour, and then go do something else. I, I, the anxiety you might be feeling 
probably has nothing to do with art and more to do with feeling like you need to accomplish something or you need to finish something or whatever. But um, if that's the case, w what helped me was making smaller pieces that I can finish in 90 minutes. So that way I'm not feel I'm not, there's not a, a, an unfinished piece that is going to give me anxiety. If your feeling is, I just need to keep making, you know, keep making art because I'm always feeling anxious, then um, I, I think it's great that, that art is helping you with that, but you are going to need to take breaks. Yeah, you will. Let's see. I think I missed that one. Hold on. Um, Pancake Gamer says, Hi, Scott. I love your YouTube shorts. They really help me improve my art. Also, I love your drawings and paintings. Thank you. What is something you are most afraid of? Um, I think uh, being in a place with no escape, you know. Um, that makes sense for you. You know, I don't, I like, I like being in a, in a more comfortable place like being on an airplane and I can't get out or you know in a crowded room or something like that I think those are the things that bother me the most um, Jane says hi Sky and Dawn I absolutely love your channel and positive vibes lately I've been drawing with the motive of I hope other people will like this so do you have tips for drawing for yourself oh yes and thank you um I, I think the journaling is the thing that has worked best for me. Mm -hmm. um, even though you guys actually wind up seeing my journals because, you know, I'm doing a YouTube channel. But mm -hmm. originally the journals were just for me. Mm -hmm. And and I think chronicling uh, your your days, chronicling your the things that you see and your thoughts and everything, mm -hmm. I think is a very good thing that you don't have to worry about uh, other people seeing. Yeah, nobody ever has to see it. It could be a, it could be a, a, a half written, mm -hmm. half art, mm -hmm. just a diary. Yeah, just of your life, you know, stuff that you see every day, stuff that you're, where you're going, what you're doing. Um, Pencil sharpener. Boy, that's loud and screechy. Do you have any tips for doing art commissions or know of any Discord server apps that aren't social media for doing commissions? I'm really young and need a good way to do it. Um, commissions are... Here, here's the thing about commissions. Um, commissions are really for... I don't see them as a, as a way to, to make a living and it's also really hard to find your audience. Um, I mean, you can do something like that, that website Fiverr where people are gonna pay you $5 to do a drawing that's gonna take you an hour to do, which is not very good for your mental health. And, and I've found that you know, I've heard that people don't pay and, and whatever. So I wouldn't do that. And then commissions are, I'm not a fan of commissions. I've done them and, and um, I think you need to find your audience and find people that like your art for what your art is. I, I don't really have a... My best advice for commissions is to go ahead and build your audience and then open up commissions once you have enough followers. But it is, it is not an easy thing to do commissions. Mm -hmm. um, people have very different expectations yeah, and it's interesting because um, we've actually had people who have been like, I, I don't like this. Yeah. I I expected it to be more colorful. Well, yeah. it can't be more colorful when you send us some picture that's in black and white. Well, no, I mean, it's... It's, it's interesting. Every piece of art is different. Yeah. And people... Um, and, and, you know, I'm guilty of the same thing because uh, I have... Um, gotten sketches from artists who I really like and it was not as it was not in the style it wasn't what I you know the the it's not the the, the work that I kind of wanted like I really liked a certain piece of theirs or something like that
Lady Liz says a very big hello to you too over in the Hobbit Hole. Thank you guys so much for everything. Everything y'all do. True, beautiful souls, hard at work. My comment's way too long, so I'm cutting it out. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thanks for being with us today. We appreciate you. Um... Um, there are, Adnan, there are plenty of videos on watercolor in the Art Hacks playlist and tips for watercolor. Um, so check that out. Um, was day 10 of drawing everything every day the last day? Good question. It was for now. You know, I, I, um, we're, we're trying to figure out you know, I have my, my day job. I'm working in mm -hmm. animation, and that is taking up some time. Yeah. And um, we're trying to figure out how much time to put into doing the YouTube channel. And so um, when I do videos like that or 60 Days of Studying the Masters and they don't get a lot of views, um, YouTube sends me little like little things saying, hey, your stuff sucks so yeah. why don't you get better at it and uh yeah and so they do it's, I go, it's pathetic I go, it's okay like um i'll i'll do something more popular and and um and that's i i don't like being in a popularity contest uh i i like just being me and um I, i'm trying to find a way to do both I'm trying to find a way to just do the stuff that makes me happy um, without having to worry about an algorithm. So yeah. that, that's, that's why I haven't done more of those, even though I like it. Um, those, those take a lot of time um, just because of the recording, because <laughs> I don't know what to say. But um, I, I definitely would like to do more. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I'll do like a Patreon or something where that works, but I, 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 I want my stuff to be free for everybody. I never wanted to do any kind of Patreon or subscription or anything. Uh, it's, it's, that's what I'm going back and forth on. Okay, so for all of you guys that are asking for tips with different things, check the Art Hacks playlist for tips on pencils and backgrounds and all sorts of different things. Check those out. Scott's not doing watercolor today. He is only using, um, what are you using? A Prismacolor Prisma color pencil? Color pencils. Just yeah. Two, just two colors. Yeah. Um, the white and the, is that black cherry or is it purple or what is it? Um, dark purple. Dark purple today. Okay. Um, so there will be no watercolor today. Um, We tried to get Scott to make a coloring book. He doesn't think his line work's any good. Don't ask me why. My, my um, line work is poopy. Yeah. You will not get into the Discord during the live. Um, Can I get one more out After of this? the live, yes. Um, why do you never draw full bodies? I do. Um, it's just they take longer. And if I'm going to do a 90-minute um, sketch or you know painting, I only have so much that I can do. And so I, I, I've just, these pieces are basically, um, so that way I can, I can um, tell, make art every day. If I was doing a larger piece, you know, 100%. And, and yeah, so that's it. It's, it's for expediency. Lady Liz says, I've been drawing ever since I could hold a crayon and hope to pass with a pencil in my hand. Uh, um, you're my favorite artist that I know of, and I know you wouldn't be able to do this without Lady Donna backing you up. You're very Oh, sweet. 100%. No, you're, you'd be fine. Um, I'd love to create a character. Do you have any suggestions for backstories? I would love your input. It is just for a scene in a painting. Um. I, I always make my backstories based off of people that I know. And so I would um, identify them with a friend or an enemy or, you know, somebody that you met or a cartoon character or character from a TV show. Everything, there's nothing original you're going to come up with. It's the 
I'm going to take a little bit of, um, I don't know, Mad Eye Moody and and merge it with a little bit of, uh, I don't know, Mary Poppins. Yeah, I, I'm just whatever. But um, <laughs> Mad Eye Moody with Mary Poppins. I'm on an M thing for Monday, you know, but uh, it's Music Monday. Okay. But what I'm saying is, you can take. A couple of I like this part of this person and this part of that person and then this and that's really what you're doing is is you're just picking your favorite things about different people or different characters and now you have a unique new character oh you know what Bethany's right there are um, coloring pages you can download from Scott's the, uh, the website for sure so you can check those out I forgot about that um, I'm doing okay, Anne Marie. It is Monday. It is raining, which means I cannot walk Arwen, and she's going to be unhappy about that today. And I'm sure she will let me know. Um, Carson says, Thank you, Scott. You've encouraged me to make my own YouTube channel, and now it has 300 subs. Wow, congratulations! It's exciting. That is fantastic. Can I get one more sharpen out of this? I don't know. <laughs> Um, Kevin says new to painting wait no Kevin says hello I was wondering if you had any tips um, or how do you know which colors to use oh um, well you 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 learn how to use which colors to use by studying from life and then from there you could go ahead and deviate from that but wow. you take everything from from life Okay, Beth says, new to painting, I'm setting my own area. What kind of desk do you like, drafting or flat top, also lighting and storage around it? I like flat, but I, uh, you know, it's because I do watercolors. Um, if you're going to do something like oils or acrylics or gouache, you might want to do uh, something that tilts up. Um, yeah. Uh, storage. Regarding storage, you, you kind of... My, my storage choices are aesthetic uh, more than they are for, um, you know, function because I'm in a hobbit hole. But, uh, you know, I would say um, you'll find storage as needed. Go to, you know, go to an art store and see what works. If you like, go to an antique store and see what works. And lighting, I like natural light. Like uh, there's lamps that do natural light. Um, okay, Roasty Toasty, Scott just did a video or has done a video on doing a hundred pieces of bad art for one piece of good art. You just have to keep going on that. Um, so check that out also in the Art Hacks playlist. Blending of watercolors, Rain on the Bow, Art Hacks playlist, there's a video on that. Yeah, you can do wet on wet or mm -hmm. wet on dry. I like wet on dry. Why don't you get a front facing camera so we can see you and Donna? Oh God. Because then I would have to put makeup on in the morning. And, and I would have to put makeup on and you don't want to see that's that. That's not, yeah, there's not enough filters for that. Um, Scott's favorite subject in school besides art was recess and lunch. What's your favorite type of art? Comic realism, digital, watercolor, etc. I don't know if I could pick a, a, a favorite because um, I love comics. I love realism. I love digital. Um, I love Art Nouveau, Pre-Raphaelite, Romantic. You know, there's so much great stuff. Um, Scott has drawn our puppy dog so many times. Um, there is a marker playlist, JXX Sketches. If you check out the marker playlist, um, you'll see some markers that he's used and he's done some wonderful blending with those. I would recommend the Lizzo painting, which I think is wonderful for blending skin tones. I like the, uh, the ice cube one, I think came out pretty good too. Um, what is enough followers? Mm. Sorry, I was drinking my tea. Um, enough followers. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know how to answer that. Really, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think a million is always that number that everybody thinks is like wow, yeah. you know. And um, 
But honestly, <clears throat> I think it's good to just set yourself um, milestones. Mm -hmm. Your first hundred, your first thousand, your first ten thousand, mm -hmm. your first hundred thousand, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And and then I, I think that's what I've always done is is I, I don't, a million is a lot. I think you just yeah. focus on consistency, though. Yeah, you focus on your consistency. You focus but on it, but if you posting. if there's a number you want to to do, then mm -hmm. just like I said, set smaller incremental mm -hmm. milestones. Because, like on TikTok, I'm at eight hundred and thirty thousand, and I've been on TikTok since 2020. Oh, it's ridiculous. And yeah, and I don't know if I'll ever hit a million. It's just such a slow thing. Yeah. I would be disappointed for three years. Mm -hmm. You know, if if if. That was my goal was to hit a million. But when I hit a thousand, I was like, yay, I wonder if I'll ever hit 10,000. And, and so you can set little milestones that will give you that sense of accomplishment along the way. That's what I would do. So for now, I would just pick a, an even number that you think is kind of cool and aim for that. Rose says, hey, Scott, I want to get more into art, but don't know where to start or what supplies to use. Do you have any tips? I'm sure this has been answered before. I just don't remember. Um, yeah. I mean, for me, it's it's drawing. You're going to need to learn to just draw. Draw what you see. Draw every day. Draw everything. Um, do that and you will be fine. From here, you can go on to watercolors and and and. Mm -hmm. painting and, and whatever else but seriously just draw every day if you can and you will you'll become a better artist all around I promise um, a start 66 says good morning I just wanted to say that I love that you share doing art with other artists I found some amazing creators on YouTube through you like Kim Diaz home oh yeah yeah I've got to do another live with mm -hmm. Kim um, and uh, but yes, I love doing collaborations with other artists. I think it's really fun, and I want to do a lot more. How do you think people's lives affect the art they produce? Um, I think, I mean, especially if you look at someone like a Van Gogh who suffered from depression and and so many things, um, his his work was chaotic. Um, if you look at um, Toulouse Lautrec, you know he he was physically deformed. He was an alcoholic. Um, Easy I, to do back then. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things that look at Frida Kahlo. She was bedridden. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think um, it, art is an expression of the person making the art. It's very personal. Um, and, and I think that it is 100% going to affect your art. Um, I don't even know if you'll know how to answer this one. Hmm. How do you draw what music sounds like? I wish I knew because music is magic and... I hear music and I wish I could put it into pictures, you know, art. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, um, I, I think music makes just makes you feel. Yeah, I mean, I think some people can picture, you know, like put a song into a, a picture, but honestly, they're just listening. That that's the lyrics. Are you it's done? Not the music. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, people are and asking. Then, um, yeah, and then other people, I think you can just do it with like abstract colors or something like that. But I just don't think that that's universal. Like, that's just how that particular artist felt. I don't know if that might translate. Lula says, I want to say that after your colored pencil comparisons, I broke down and bought a set of Caron Dosh, and they are Chef's Kiss Buttery and Rich. Absolutely amazing. So thank you. Aren't they amazing? I, I don't know if I'll ever use them again because I still have all of these. I still like to draw with the, the, the you know, these Prismacolors, mm -hmm. but... They are absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's funny how you have your favorite things that you like to draw with or write with or whatever, and you just keep going back to your favorite things. Even if you find something that you really like that's yeah. a newer thing, you go still go back to that thing that you just feels good in your hands. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I spent three decades doing colored pencil. Mm -hmm. And so for me, 
it's like I've I've done colored pencil and I mm. don't want to go back. And so yeah. I did that little series where we kind of played around, but I have no desire to do any more colored pencil art. And so that's why those Karen Doshes are going to just sit there because mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll ever go back to it. Yeah. Um, any tips for drawing males? My style is more anime. And when I try to draw male, draw male characters, my friends already asked me if it's female. Any tips on how to make the characters look more masculine? Thanks. Angles. Um, for, for, let me get a sketchbook. Hmm. Betty says, I love your art so much. I'm 16 and draw because you have inspired me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Shriashi says, you don't need makeup. You're very cute, but we're still not going on camera. Oh, here's Santa's cookie. I will cherish it forever. Steph Nerd says, Mom walked in to give me grapes and got distracted by Dave. She says it looks awesome, which is nice, but I want my grapes. <laughs> Where's my grapes? Um, all right. So male and female. And these are, again, we're, we're talking about very binary um, things. And you're trying to, say, stereotype um, Hmm. these things but stereotypically um, females are softer you know the 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 nose is upturned and you know the lips right but whereas Males are going to be more angled. Somebody asked what type of knee eraser. Oh, okay. That's why I'm shoving those in there. So you're going to have thicker eyebrows, longer nose. You don't even need to see the eyes sometimes. It could, you know, just be more smaller eyes, chiseled jaw, thinner lips, bigger chin. These are the stereotypical, this is really bad, sorry. But you see, this is more, this is softer, flows more. This is boom, 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 boom. So try that. Try, try this, those. You get more angular. Yeah, those, those angles. By the way, those blues are harder to see. Yeah, sorry. It's just I grabbed a purple watercolor pencil. Yeah, that was more difficult to see. I'm just letting you know. Um, who is your favorite person to draw? Donna. Um, let's see. What? I don't know what link you're looking for. Um, where do you record your voice to the videos? Oh, uh, in Adobe Premiere. I, I have a microphone, the one that Donna's currently talking in, into. Hello, hello, and, hello. And um, I will uh, edit the video down into one minute, and then um, I will write the script for what I want in actually my Gmail, in a draft e- email, <laughs> and then um, yeah. and then I just read from that, and um, I, I'll. It usually takes me several takes to say the thing the way that I want to say it and then I cut that up and I get it all in there and then I add some music and the closed captioning and and we're good to go. When you do digital art, do you use the same techniques as you do with traditional art? I'm not someone who, who I can answer that. I've only tried digital art a couple times, mm. but um, I, I, think, I think digital art is 100% a different technique. Do not try the same techniques. Um, are you going to do something for Autism Awareness Month? Well, I've already done a couple of videos. Um, if something feels right, I will 100%. But um, I I don't want to pander to that. I don't want to make it feel like I'm trying to take um, an opportunity. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm still new to understanding. I've only been diagnosed for a year. And so I'm still... Not even... Yeah, but I, I'm just saying I'm still, I'm still, I, I don't want to like kind of like jump in and go, hey everybody, I'm I'm autistic and you know here's the answer here's, to everything. Here's, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I've I've you know I've lived with it my entire life, but I didn't. I don't know how to deal with it, so I'm still processing a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And and um, if still, a video comes we're still up, learning, and he's trying to do things that 
come up that he finds help him that he thinks might help somebody else. Yeah, yeah. So if something comes up this month, then we'll definitely do it. But if not, he just did a couple of them prior to that. So just bear with us on this. We're still we're still learning too. Yeah. Um, Anne Marie missed hanging out with all of us. You were keeping me calm after I had to give two detentions in oh. less than 75 minutes. <laughs> well, oh. it's a Monday. Well, I'm going to go get some breakfast, mm-hmm. and um, and I will turn this into a Music Monday Tell everybody video. what type of sketchbook that is that you're drawing in right now. This is a Strathmore uh, 400 series toned tan paper. It's hardbound, uh, and I think there are links to it in my uh, art supply list, I think. I don't know if we have that one in there. Um, is there a cheaper version for Copic markers? Yes, Artex. There's a video on it mm-hmm. and there's a link in my products I've tried. Get the Artex. No, I'm sorry. Art Beak. Art, Art Beak. Beak. Mm-hmm. It's the Art Beak uh, 80 set. Um, I think it's $50. It's like, and then there's no, a. There's a 30, no, it's 120 is $50 and yeah. 80 is $25. Twenty seven ninety nine. The brush tips are mm-hmm. so good. And I definitely recommend those. The Ohuhu's are really fun. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying, if you want the cheapest and they work mm-hmm. just as good, mm-hmm. it's the art beat. How do you find time to make art every day with a busy, busy schedule? I don't. I didn't make art yesterday. Actually, no, I did a little you bit. You did. I was working on mm-hmm. um, some stuff. But, um, you know, I only spend maybe an hour a day on art. Um, and And I think... We can always find some time. And and there are definitely days where I don't. There's 100% days, whether I'm traveling or I'm working too much, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't beat myself up over it. Yep. Um, okay. So I think we're going to go um, and have a little breakfast. Um, how long does it take you to edit a short and then we'll go? Um. An because hour I think, to two hours. Yeah. You know, it just depends. Sometimes they go well. At like like today, um, I will have 90 minutes of, you know, video to mm-hmm. go through. So that sometimes takes a bit. If I'm, if I'm recording stuff not on a live, it usually goes a little quicker because I'll just record the 5, 10 seconds I need. Yeah. It's, he spends a lot of time coming up with a story that goes along t- with it and yeah. other things like that. So I think it could take him anywhere from two to four hours to put a video together. So but that's my, t- my two cents in the world. And thank you guys for being thank here with for us. Out we with will us. see you for um, see you watercolor Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep, we will see you. And um, bye, Santa. Santa saying bye. Oh. And everybody have, um, have a marvelous Monday and we will see you on Wednesday.